Most of us think that inverted rows are not worth our while once we're strong enough to do pull-ups. Oftentimes not even considering that there might be an even more challenging rowing variation. I consider this a pity since it's a little bit like being able to do push-ups on your knees and never considering working on regular push-ups. The exercise I'm talking about today are full bodyweight inverted rows or what others call the front lever row or tucked front lever pull-ups. And even though they're not as cool looking as pull-ups, another reason we probably don't take them that seriously, they are still the second most challenging and effective pull bodyweight exercise. Another important thing to keep in mind about this horizontal pulling movement pattern, especially as a calisthenics trainee, is how it focuses on the part of your back that is neglected to a big extent if you're only doing vertical pulling exercises such as pull-ups and chin-ups. Specifically, other than your lats, full bodyweight inverted rows target your trapezius, mostly the middle and lower fibers, your rhomboids, and the teres major muscles. By combining and alternating full bodyweight inverted rows with your favorite pull-ups and chin-ups, your back, but also your shoulders and arms will gain a fuller, more symmetrical and muscular look. Lastly, but not leastly, training this way can also decrease the risk for injury that an otherwise very limited exercise repertoire can pose. But enough talk for now and let's see how can you get started on full bodyweight rows. By the way, you can always find extra details about today's video in the top in comment below, as usual, plus a link to my online coaching community. It goes without saying that you must be able to do basic inverted rows before you move on to anything harder. So first of all, make sure that you can do at least 15 smooth inverted rows with your elbows tucked in and overall clean form. Moving from a basic inverted row to a full bodyweight inverted row is a big leap for most people. Therefore, my favorite progression to bridge the gap between these two are decline inverted rows, meaning doing your rows with your feet elevated at a height of about two thirds of the height of your grip. And once you can do 15 perfect form reps, you are ready to move on to full bodyweight inverted rows. I'll be mostly using gymnastic rings in this tutorial. Keep in mind that this does make the exercise more difficult. And uh, I do recommend in the beginning to start with a stable dip station or even better parlor bars since the gymnastic rings will have the tendency to swing you a lot back and forth in the beginning, which will make things a little bit more difficult. Step number one is the kicking. Start by hinging at the shoulders and kicking yourself in a tucked hang. And if you find yourself swinging a lot back and forth, it also helps to kick in one leg at a time. Step number two is pulling yourself up, which will break into more little steps. Specifically, always avoid allowing your elbows to flare out since this can cause shoulder injury in the long run. Instead, the main cue you want to keep in mind is pulling yourself at the top position by bringing your elbows into your ribs. Key point number two is that it's okay to cheat in the beginning. If you've laid a solid foundation by working on decline rows, the full body weight inverted row can still feel very challenging. This is why it's okay to use your feet and kick upwards to gain some momentum and cheat yourself into some extra range of motion in the beginning. Next, we want to start cleaning up our form. So once you can get eight reps this way, start doing the exercise as strictly as possible by kicking less in order to create momentum and uh, gain that extra range of motion. Once the exercise starts to feel easy, if you want to make things a little bit more challenging, you can also increase the range of motion by aiming at touching your thumbs at your lower ribs. This is something I always try to do since I feel that uh, it increases even more the activation of that middle part of your back. Our last key point is grip and how do you use your hands. Basically, when you begin working with rings, start each rep with pronation and as you pull yourself, move into a neutral grip. 
This will help you to bring the rings closer to your rib cage and once again, increase muscle activation. Now, a final tip here for those who use gymnastic rings and how to avoid the swinging motion. Uh, as I said, you might have noticed that I like to extend my legs a little bit on the way up. This isn't a jerky move though, that cheats the exercise. Uh, instead, what I'm doing here uh, is that I'm smoothly extending my knees in order to keep my center of gravity close to the straps and counteract the body's tendency to start swinging back and forth. Overall, keep in mind that the full bodyweight inverted row is quite a challenging calisthenics exercise to master. So give it time, stay patient, and keep on rowing. All right, so that was all for today. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave them below. I always do my best to answer every single one of your comments. And if you're also interested in joining a community of like-minded people, of people with a passion for calisthenics, uh, people who enjoy the minimalistic type of bodyweight exercise that I teach a lot on this channel, uh, keep in mind that we also have an online coaching community. So uh, you can join the Bodyweight Muscle Online Coaching Community where you will receive detailed weekly workout plans where you can uh, interact with uh, other members, with me. You can get uh, custom tailored advice from me, ask me questions on the spot. There's a live chat feature. We have bi-weekly calls. And uh, this is basically a platform where we um, all motivate each other to keep on training. Uh, as a matter of fact, even my training uh, ever since the last year that I've been growing this community has improved because you know I have other people now holding me accountable as well. And uh, overall, it's a community that uh, I've been enjoying a lot to build and uh, that is fast growing. So if you're interested in joining us, make sure that you click on the link below. There are more details there. You can uh, check it out, see uh, if it's something that is interesting to you. And now next time, keep on training.